Life throws curveballs, job pressures, relationship troubles, unexpected setbacks, they're all part of the human experience. But what if I told you that within you lies an incredible power, a hidden reserve of strength capable of not just enduring these challenges, but of overcoming them and emerging even stronger? Welcome to another insightful video from Dr. Chris. For centuries, we believed the brain was fixed, unable to change after a certain age. But groundbreaking research has shattered this myth, revealing the awe-inspiring phenomenon of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity means your brain is not set in stone. In this video, we're going to unlock the secrets of your brain's resilience toolkit. So what exactly is resilience? It's a word we hear a lot, but its true meaning runs deeper than just bouncing back from setbacks. Resilience is the ability to navigate life's inevitable storms, to adapt and even thrive in the face of adversity. It's about having the strength to bend without breaking, to rise above challenges and emerge stronger on the other side. Resilient people still experience stress, pain and failure just like anyone else. The difference lies in how they respond. Resilience isn't just some abstract concept. It has a profound impact on every aspect of our lives, from our personal well-being to our professional success. Studies have shown that resilient individuals tend to be happier, healthier, and more fulfilled. They're better equipped to handle stress, anxiety, and depression. In the workplace, resilience is a highly sought after trait. From our relationships to our careers, our health to our overall happiness, Resilience is the key ingredient that empowers us to live our lives to the fullest. Now you might be wondering, where does this remarkable ability come from? The answer lies within the intricate workings of your brain. Your brain is a marvel of adaptation, constantly changing and rewiring itself in response to your experiences. It's this incredible capacity for change, known as neuroplasticity, that forms the foundation of resilience. Think of your brain as a dense forest. Every experience, every thought, every action creates a new pathway through this forest. The more you travel down a particular path, the more defined and ingrained it becomes. You have the power to create new pathways, to strengthen the ones that serve you well, and to reroute the ones that lead you astray. To understand how your brain builds resilience, it helps to understand its basic architecture. Imagine your brain as a three-layered structure, each layer representing a different stage of evolutionary development. At the base, we have the reptilian brain, responsible for our most primal instincts like survival and breathing. Above that sits the limbic system, the seat of our emotions. And finally, we have the neocortex, the most evolved part of our brain, responsible for higher level thinking, planning, and decision-making. When faced with a challenge, all three layers of our brain spring into action. The reptilian brain triggers the fight or flight response, flooding our system with adrenaline and cortisol. The limbic system processes the emotional significance of the event, generating fear, anxiety, or excitement. The neocortex, with its ability to reason, plan, and regulate emotions, steps in to modulate these primal responses. At the forefront of the neocortex lies the prefrontal cortex, often referred to as the CEO of the brain. This region plays a critical role in executive functions like planning, decision-making, working memory, and emotional regulation. Think of the prefrontal cortex as the control center for resilience. When faced with a stressful situation, the prefrontal cortex helps us to pause, assess the situation, and come up with a plan of action. It helps us to regulate our emotions, preventing us from being hijacked by fear or anger. The stronger our prefrontal cortex, the better equipped we are to handle stress and adversity. Mindfulness meditation, for example, has been shown to increase gray matter in the prefrontal cortex, improving our ability to focus, regulate emotions, and respond to stress effectively. Deep within the limbic system lies the amygdala, a small almond-shaped structure that plays a crucial role in processing emotions, particularly fear and anxiety. 
When we perceive a threat, the amygdala sends out an alarm signal, triggering the fight or flight response. Now, you might think that a region associated with fear would be the enemy of resilience. However, the amygdala is not our enemy. It's simply trying to protect us. The key to resilience is not to suppress the amygdala, but to learn how to manage and direct its powerful energy. Techniques like deep breathing, mindfulness, and cognitive reframing can help us to calm the amygdala and shift from a state of fear to a state of courage and resilience. Located close to the amygdala is another key player in the resilience game, the hippocampus. This seahorse-shaped structure plays a vital role in memory formation, particularly the consolidation of long-term memories. But the hippocampus doesn't just store memories passively, it also helps us to learn from our experiences, both positive and negative. When we face a challenge, the hippocampus retrieves relevant memories, helping us to make sense of the situation and choose the best course of action. Resilient individuals have a remarkable ability to draw upon their past experiences, both successes and failures, to navigate present challenges. Engaging in activities that promote neuroplasticity, such as exercise and learning new skills, can help to protect and even grow the hippocampus, enhancing our resilience in the face of stress. We've talked about the brain's role in resilience, but our bodies also play a crucial part. Imagine this. You're walking down a dark street, and suddenly, you hear footsteps behind you. Your heart starts racing, your palms sweat, and your breath becomes shallow. What's happening? Your body's ancient alarm system, known as the stress response, has been activated. This system, also called the HPA axis, is a complex network of hormones and glands that prepare us to deal with threats. When we perceive a threat, the hypothalamus sends a distress signal to the pituitary gland. This triggers the release of a cascade of hormones, including adrenaline and cortisol, which flood our bodies with energy, preparing us to either fight the threat or flee to safety. When our stress response is constantly activated, it takes a toll on our bodies and minds. Chronic stress can lead to a whole host of health problems, including anxiety, depression, heart disease, and even cancer. That's why it's crucial to develop healthy coping mechanisms, strategies that help us to manage stress and regulate our emotions effectively. Healthy coping mechanisms include activities like mindfulness meditation, exercise, spending time in nature, connecting with loved ones, and engaging in hobbies that bring us joy. These activities help to shift our focus away from stressful thoughts, promote relaxation, and build our resilience over time. Unhealthy coping mechanisms, such as excessive alcohol consumption, drug use, overeating, or social isolation, might provide temporary relief but ultimately exacerbate stress and harm our physical and mental health. The good news is that we're not stuck with our stress response as is. Remember neuroplasticity? Our brains are constantly changing and adapting based on our experiences. This means we can actually rewire our stress response, training our brains and bodies to become more resilient in the face of adversity. One of the most effective ways to do this is through mindfulness meditation. Regular mindfulness practice has been shown to strengthen the prefrontal cortex, the CEO of the brain responsible for emotional regulation. Exercise is another powerful tool for rewiring our stress response. We've explored the science behind resilience, but how do we actually build this essential trait in our lives? The answer lies in cultivating both mental and physical habits that strengthen our capacity to adapt and thrive. One powerful mental tool is cognitive reframing. This involves consciously changing the way we think about challenging situations. Instead of viewing setbacks as insurmountable obstacles, we can choose to see them as opportunities for growth and learning. For example, imagine you're passed over for a promotion. A negative thought pattern might lead you down a spiral of self-doubt and despair. But with cognitive reframing, you could choose to see this as an opportunity to seek feedback, identify areas for improvement, and position yourself for future success. Another key mental habit is cultivating a growth mindset.
Mental resilience is crucial, but it's equally important to support our mental well-being with positive physical habits. One of the most effective is regular exercise. Physical activity does more than just keep us physically fit. It also acts as a powerful antidepressant and stress reliever. Exercise boosts the production of endorphins, which have mood-boosting effects, and it helps to regulate the HPA axis, reducing the negative impacts of stress on our bodies. Another important habit is prioritizing sleep. When we're sleep-deprived, our brains and bodies don't function optimally. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night to support both your mental and physical resilience. We've talked about the science and the strategies, but let's bring resilience to life with some real-world examples. Think about the incredible stories of individuals who've overcome immense challenges, athletes who bounce back from career-ending injuries, entrepreneurs who rebuild their businesses from the ground up, individuals who face adversity with unwavering spirit. These stories are not about superhuman abilities, but about the power of the human spirit, the indomitable will to persevere, to adapt, and to grow in the face of adversity. Take, for instance, the story of Malala Yousafzai, the young Pakistani activist who was shot by the Taliban for advocating for girls' education. Instead of being silenced by fear, Malala turned her pain into purpose, becoming a global icon for education and resilience. Now let's shift our focus to the workplace. In today's rapidly changing world, resilience is no longer a nice-to-have quality, it's a necessity. Organizations are facing unprecedented levels of complexity, uncertainty, and change. To thrive in this environment, companies need to cultivate a culture of resilience where employees feel empowered to navigate challenges, bounce back from setbacks, and adapt to new ways of working. Creating a resilient workplace starts with leadership. Leaders who model resilience, who are transparent about their own struggles and triumphs, inspire their teams to do the same. Resilient workplaces prioritize employee well-being. We've covered a lot of ground in this exploration of resilience, from the intricate workings of the brain to inspiring real-world examples of human strength. And if there's one key takeaway I want you to remember, it's this. Resilience is not a superpower reserved for a select few. It's an inherent human capacity, dormant within each and every one of us, waiting to be unlocked. Think back to the concept of neuroplasticity, that incredible ability of your brain to rewire itself to adapt and to grow throughout your life. This is the very foundation of resilience. It means that no matter what challenges you faced in the past, no matter how ingrained your current thought patterns or habits might feel, you have the power to change. You have the power to build resilience. Remember, resilience is not about being invincible. It's not about never experiencing setbacks, disappointments, or failures. In fact, it's through these very experiences that we cultivate resilience. Each challenge we face, each obstacle we overcome, strengthens our resilience muscle, preparing us for whatever life throws our way. So as we reach the end of this journey together, I encourage you to embrace the power within you. Embrace the fact that you are not defined by your past, your circumstances, or your perceived limitations. You are capable of far more than you can imagine. Building resilience is a journey, not a destination. It's a lifelong process of self-discovery, of learning, adapting, and evolving. And like any journey worth taking, it starts with a single step. What will your first step be? Will you commit to a regular mindfulness practice, training your mind to stay present and navigate stress with greater ease? Will you explore the power of physical activity, boosting your mood, and strengthening your body's ability to handle challenges? Will you focus on building strong social connections, creating a support system that uplifts and empowers you? The choice is yours. The path to resilience is paved with small, consistent actions, with daily choices that nurture your mental, physical, and emotional well-being. It's about cultivating self-awareness, practicing self-compassion, and embracing a growth mindset that views challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. Remember, you are not alone on this journey. We are all in this together, and within each of us lies the potential for incredible resilience, waiting to be unlocked. So go forth, embrace the power within you, 
and build a life of purpose, meaning, and enduring strength. If you found this video helpful, why not give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. And if there's a topic you'd like us to tackle in a future video, don't hesitate to let us know.